This is how you get 97 overall Jamal Williams in Madden 24. Now, Soul Cell Sit family, and welcome back to another Madden 24 video. Hope you're watching this one or having a wonderful start to your day. And without further ado, let's get it started. Now, real quick, on the screen right here, it's a $10 Xbox gift card. The first person to put in those digits is getting $10 for free. If you want more giveaways in my video tomorrow, you know what to do. Leave a like. Okay, now on the screen right here is the card who I have 100% gotten the most questions about in the last 24 hours. People have been asking me, Swift, how do I get this card? Can I get him for free? How do I get him to 99 speed? Because as you can see on the screen right here, yes, this card can get 99 speed. Now let's answer all those questions and start it off with step number one. What do you got to do? No, you don't got to go to Fortnite, but you simply got to log into Madden right here and open up your welcome pack. For opening up your welcome pack, which I did record because yes, I'm trying to show you every step to this video. Open up your Genki Force welcome pack. Inside of this is going to be the 87 overall Jamal Williams, as you can see on the screen. I don't know why it took me so long, but here's the card. Now step number two, before we even talk about upgrading this card, put in this card as a backup running back on your team. That is an absolute must. It's the only way you can play solos, and it's really just a requirement, I would say. Put this card in as your running back number two. Now, step number three, let's talk about boosting this player up. Now, the first thing you do is you put in training points. Once you've done that, though, it's going to take six tokens to boost this card from an 89 up to his second highest version, which is a 95. Now, as you can see right here in the descriptions, it says add the Jamal Williams upgrade token to upgrade this card to an 89 overall and boost ratings. That is the same description for every Every single token and yes I did the math there are six tokens you need to get this card from that lower overall 87 to this 95. Now how can you get six tokens you might be asking well let me show you. Now the first way we're going to be getting two tokens for this card is by going on over to the Genki Force program field pass. Genki Force can I just say one of the weirder names for a program in this game. <laughs> like I've said that so many times in my videos in the last couple days I feel like anytime I say it I'm like what a name EA Sports but as you guys can see right here the first token we're going to be getting is at level number five. Level number five of this field pass gives us token one. And then as we continue through this pass, if you get up to level number 15, which you can actually do today, you can get the second token for Jamal Williams. How do you get to level 15? You might be asking. Well, you got to play through basically every single mission in here. I believe you can skip out on one mission, but you'd basically need to play through everything and you probably want to skip out on getting 50 house rules wins. That's going to take you the longest, I would say. I mean, I've already gotten 18, but 50 will be a while. Now, those are the first two tokens, but how can you get the remaining four? Well, let's talk about that. But before we do, I want to give a shout out to underdog fantasy the sponsor of this video the number one partner of the channel and some absolute goats now underdog fantasy if you guys did not know is a place where you can make higher lower player picks and with nfl season wrapping up you better believe i'm making nba picks we've been doing nba picks the past couple of days and actually boys tomorrow is the all-star game and there's some really cool picks you guys can make you can make picks on the celebrity game so you can make picks on kai sanat if you want to that short king is not gonna have more than five and a half points though i don't think and then you can also make picks on the three-point contest which is awesome you can make picks on the dunk contest which is super cool as well as picks on the regular all-star game. There's honestly so many fun picks to make for tomorrow. Like, to be honest, that's a day of picks that I am not going to be missing out on. I'm 100% going to be posting some picks tomorrow for all those contests, which should be really fun. And if you watch in this video, want to make some picks on the three-point contest, the drunk contest, the all-star game, I will leave Underdog linked in the description. They're actually going to give you a free square if you sign up today or tomorrow using my promo code SWIFT. Now, when I say free square, what do I mean? Well, LeBron James's line will be set to 0.5 points for the all-star game. He's absolutely going to be scoring at least one bucket or at least just making one free throw. He doesn't even need to score a bucket. <laughs> so if you want access to that free line, I'm going to leave Underdog linked in the description. Use the promo code SWIFT as you are signing up and let's get back to the video. All right. Now, like I was saying, we already got two of our six tokens. How can we get the remaining four? Well, we got to go to the store. We got to go to the Genki Force star offer tab right here. So the star offer tab in the store. And if you scroll all the way on over to the right for 90 stars, you get a Jamal Williams upgrade token. You can buy this pack four times. Now, to be honest, is this worth it? That's the question we're going to be talking talking about once we complete kind of the whole process for Jamal Williams, but you can get four more tokens by spending 90 stars each time. That's expensive, boys. That's a total of 360 stars invested into Jamal Williams. And then once you've done that, the Jamal Williams card isn't even completed. The Jamal Williams upgrade is not even completed because just like Christian McCaffrey, just like the Chuck Howley card right here, if we want to get Jamal Williams up to the maximum, it's not free. You got to put in a 96 OVR champion as well to boost the card from a 95 up to a 97. I will say though, the man does get 99 speed, which is very, very interesting. It's pretty cool that we can get a 99 speed running back in this game. I believe the way you would do that is by going through and adding the speedster ability on this card. As you guys can see, I'm adding the speedster chemistry on this player. So right now he's literally going to get plus five speed already. If I wanted to, I could boost this card up to a 95 overall. At a 95 overall, he would be at 98 speed. So he'd still be one of the fastest running backs in this game, which is pretty cool. I can't lie. Now the question kind of becomes, should you use this Jamal Williams card? I would say this card is an interesting option as a 90 
95 overall. That's a 95 overall right here. Again, all we would have to do is max out the field pass or get to level 15 and then use the stars to earn upgrade tokens. And then for doing so, when we put this speedster chemistry on the player right here, which I just did, he would actually get up to 98 speed, which is pretty awesome. Now, should you get the card to a 97? I don't think that's fully worth it. I don't necessarily think putting in the 96 overall player to boost this main to a 97 is 100% worth it. Although I will say he becomes a pretty end game running back because he would have 99 speed at that point, which is ridiculous. Now, what's my suggestion to you? I would say if possible, the best way to spend your stars right now, if you can get enough of them, is to get enough stars to upgrade Jamal Williams, probably to a 95 overall, and then also pick up the BND DK Metcalf. Now, what should your priorities be? I would say realistically, priority number one is probably the BND DK Metcalf. So you probably want to open up this pack right here first, the 96 overall BND Fantasy Champion pack. But past that, if you get enough stars and you get an additional 360 past your 700, then upgrading Jamal Williams isn't the worst idea in the world, to be fully honest with you. And it's something I might consider. It kind of depends how many House Rules games I win. It kind of depends if there's more ways to get stars in release two to this promo. We'll have to see though. To buy Madden 24 coins for the cheapest price on the internet, check out MMO EXP by clicking the link in the description and use promo code SWIFT at checkout for 5% off. But I do believe as like a 95 overall player, he's one of the more interesting cards in this game because he does become the fastest player in Madden 24. He becomes the fastest card in Madden 24. There is value to that. There is 100% value to that. At a 95 overall, he doesn't go up to that 99 speed like we said before, but 98 speed would still be the fastest player in this game. As you guys can see, he would get plus seven speed from what he's at right now. He's at 91 speed right now. So that gets him up to a pretty ridiculous number. The stats at a 95. Otherwise, I do want to take a peek at these because I haven't really looked at them. It looks like acceleration would also get close to a 99 or it would get to a 99. Agility becomes pretty solid. Carrying is decent. Catching is not very good on this card. Change of direction would get boosted up pretty nicely. Juke, spin, and stiff arm though. Those are ones where the stats aren't like all that amazing. They're decent at the 95 overall. I do think this is one of the more interesting players in Madden 24. And I think once I get my DK Metcalf, that's priority number one, like I said before. But once I get DK, if I have enough stars to go through and boost this man up to a 95, overall, I'm probably going to do it because 98 speed, hey, I mean, we can't pass that up. That's awesome. So that's how you get Jamal Williams maxed out. Let me know in the comment section what your guys' plan is with that card. Are you going to be trying to get the player? Are you not going to be trying to get the player? Let me know down below in the comment section if you plan on investing in the player. Today, if I wanted to, I actually could get the main to a 95 overall. I've got enough stars to do so. Am I going to? No, because I want DK Metcalf, but it's an interesting idea. That's going to do it for me. One final pack before we go. An 84 Durham Smythe. And the second card is going to be showing us maybe a 90 plus. It's an 89 Harrison. Smith. That's actually not bad. You know what? We've actually made coins, I believe, on both of our last two packs. We'll take it. That's going to do it for me. Have a wonderful day. Love y'all. Enjoy Ultimate Legends tomorrow. I'll have a video for that, and I'm out. Peace.